Hello everyone. In this video we're going to do a WLED project where we put some LED strip behind a TV. Usually I mount them to the TV, but with this TV my fiance stressed that she did not want them hot glued to the back of the TV. So instead I'm going to put them on the wall and see if she likes that better. But you can use Velcro or hot glue. I prefer to use hot glue because as long as your paint is somewhat clean and fresh, or not fresh, but newer when you put it on, then it will come right off if you ever want it to. But let's go ahead and get started. Hello everyone. Today we're going to go ahead and put these behind my living room TV and we're going to put an LED controller on them. This is the TV we'll be putting them behind. And we'll be finding this spot back there. I hope two is enough, but I might need four, but we will see. Now, the only things I did before this video is I made the WLED controller, just like I did in part one of this series. And I did a sloppy job hot glue in the back of these just to keep the wires from pulling off the pads. And then I also made an extension for this, which is just extra power. As well as, I went ahead and made another long cable like this, and it's just 22 gauge wire. And just in case, for those of you that don't know, the females where the power actually comes in at the power and the control power from the uh, WLED board. So that would mean that this side, where I made this extension cable, will be what powers and sends the LED instructions to this one. And that would be, and so on, and so on. So if I decide to use two more in the future, I can just plug the female end into here and the male one into the next one. All right, let's go ahead and wire it up and get everything connected behind the TV. I know at least one person's gonna give me crap about using hot glue, but I had recently just painted this wall and it's uh, not flat, so it won't pull the paint off with it. I actually had to put a bigger power supply on, you'll notice probably in later videos, but I couldn't find my Velcro. But um, there is Velcro on there now, but I used hot glue when I did this video. All I did prior to recording this is I counted my LEDs, which I have two 8x32 sheets. Now there's two ways you can do this. The first way is we can set up the 2D configuration. We can make it the 2D strip matrix, which is what those technically are, but I still prefer to do it the regular way. Um, that's really about it. And then you go and put how many LEDs you have in here, which GPIO you're using, which two is the default, which is pin D4, if I remember right. It's the one after ground, but let's give it a shot. All right, now I set some presets, and uh, let's see here, I'm trying to think. I don't believe there's anything else I did other than back them up. But let's go ahead and test a few of them out. This is with the TV off. FLS means fire life safety. Um, when my son's moving around his crib, this goes off behind our TVs. Every room's a little bit different. The master bedroom, it's much brighter. There's motion in our driveway. It's very vague. It's just like this. There's motion on our front porch, though. It's, it's supposed to get a little bit brighter. Let me brighten that a little bit, actually. Do the same thing with this one. And then whenever my gun safe is opened, it does that. And it's just a normal light. low and then medium so I uh, hope you enjoy thanks